Situated between Perth and Victoria Park, Erison Island was originally a collection of small islands and mudflats. After years of dredging and development it became a single island. Today the site is managed by the city of Perth. The traditional landowners, the Bilu Noongar people, called the area Matagarup, meaning Lake Deep. The first major crossing from the mouth of the Swan River at Fremantle, it provided seasonal access to the locals. First discovered by Flemish explorer Willem de Vlaming in January 1697, it was in 1801 the island was named after François Antoine Boniface Erisson a French midshipman on an expedition led by French explorer Nicolas Baudin. It wasn't until the early 1800s that the British Swan River colony was established by Captain James Stirling. By 1932 the colony had a population of over 1500. Yagan, a Noongar warrior, initially had good relations with early colonists. However, the colonists' continued expansion threatened food supplies and shortly after he led a resistance movement. In 1984, a statue of the Noongar warrior Yagan was erected to recognise his leadership of the resistance against early colonists and today the island is recognised as an Aboriginal heritage site. Today, Erison Island is connected by the Causeway Bridge connecting North and South Perth. Maintained by the City of Perth, the island has a number of picnic facilities, a children's playground, plus home to a diverse range of nature and wildlife, including Australian grey kangaroos. The best way to access Erison Island is by either walking or cycling. You can learn more about Erison Island online. Erison Island is just one of the many places to visit and explore around Perth.